In the labor and delivery unit at Community Regional Medical Center, Dr. Ron Lichtenstein has a repeat customer. This is a lady who's had nine kids, or this is actually going to be baby number nine. She's had three C-sections, so we're going to do another C-section and hopefully, without any complications, deliver another baby. Stephanie Falcon and husband Abel are about to welcome Andrew into the world. Just hoping everything goes okay. Are you nervous? Yes. Just want to make sure he's healthy and can't wait to see him. With each C-section, you form more scar tissue, more adhesions on the inside. That causes the risk of difficulty getting the baby out, more bleeding, damage to other organs, damage to the bowel, damage to the urinary bladder, and doing a fourth C-section is really, really scary. Dr. Lichtenstein heads into surgery, and all Abel can do at this point is wait. Stephanie and Abel Falcon are expecting their ninth child. This will be Stephanie's fourth C-section. I like the challenge, and the day I stop being scared of those will be the day I stop doing surgery. Rub tech ready. Ready, Stephanie? All right, so let's go for it. Okay, we've gotten to the fascia, and this is where we'll start to see adhesions if we have any. The fascia is a layer of fat which lies above the abdominal area. Okay. Big vessel here. Let me have a hemostat, please. Now I got to the fascia, which is the main abdominal wall, which is actually what's closing the belly and keeping everything inside. And we're going to go to that and then we'll find out how we're doing in terms of scar tissue inside. That's not the only one. Okay, some more fascia. And now two straight pokers, one to Dr. Pata, one to me going to separate the fascia from the muscle. May I have a knife, please? Dr. Lichtenstein can't get into the uterus without cutting through this tough, fibrous layer. And I'm making some room for the baby here. Separate the top of the fascia from the muscle. Let me have a knife again, please. Stephanie's husband, Abel, is now by her side, comforting his wife and soon-to-be new mom. All right, now we'll know how we're doing in terms of scar tissue. Gently. And this is the scar tissue that we were talking about right there. So we're going to try and get it down a little bit. Let me have some meds, please. And that's from the previous C-sections. So what I'm doing is I'm separating it from the uterus. That's the bladder here, that's the uterus, and they're connected to each other. So I'm cutting them apart bringing the bladder down. Dr. Lichtenstein has run into a potential problem. And let me have Alexis, please. Scar tissue from Stephanie's previous C-sections is making it difficult for him to access her uterus. He must work quickly as the baby needs to come out. In the labor and delivery unit at Community Regional Medical Center, Stephanie Falcon is having her ninth child by cesarean section. As Dr. Ron Lichtenstein is cutting into Stephanie's uterus, he is encountering scar tissue from her previous C-sections. So from the previous C-section, we actually had the bladder sticking to the uterus. So I cut between the two and was able to separate it pretty easily. And put my self-retaining Alexis retractor in here. Deploy it. That's good enough. And are we ready for baby here? Knife, please. That's the uterus here. So that's where the baby lives for the next few seconds. Opening the uterus, getting the baby's head. Dr. Pata is going to put some pressure. That's the water bag here and rupturing it. Hello, welcome to Fresno. Big baby too. Woo, and it's a boy. Dr. Pata is going to take the baby over to Mona. Stephanie's newborn has entered the world but mom is still awaiting a reunion with her little one. 
baby Andrew has just entered the world via C-section. His nurses and doctors now make sure he is happy and healthy. New dad Abel will cut the umbilical cord of his ninth child. Now, Dad, she's over here, and I'm going to hide it because it's going to open it. Yeah. Oh, you did it. There were some concerns going in. I was worried about adhesions. There were some adhesions. The bladder was attached to the uterus. I had to cut and separate the bladder from the uterus before I could deliver the baby. But overall, I've seen it being much, much worse. A picture of the weight. Okay. And once I got into the abdominal cavity, I looked around to see how we're doing in terms of adhesions. The bladder, which is the, the lower part of the pelvis, was actually attached to the lower part of the uterus, so I could not cut into the uterus right there because I would have gotten right through the bladder, the urinary bladder. Thank you. Three, four. What do you do? Nine pounds even. Told you it was a fat one. So what I had to do is I took a pair of scissors, which you saw there, and I cut between the bladder and the uterus, brought the bladder down, and then put my retractor, and then I had enough room at the lower end of the uterus to cut and deliver the baby to it. Hello, welcome to Fresno. Big baby, too. Andrew's birth certificate is now official, thanks to a couple of little footprints. Finally, Stephanie can see her newborn baby for the first time. It's a happy day for the new mom and dad. Baby Andrew is as healthy as can be. Well, we got to have a soccer team here, don't we? I'm gonna wait some, some years. I'll be sure to come back to you, though. Thank you, thank you, appreciate that. Let me have... Nine pounds, the ninth baby. And the sad part is, that was the easy part for her. The hard part, starts right now. And I actually hear it right now there in the background. 